I'm a comedian. If you are in any way offended about the ideas of murder, if you, if you yourself have been murdered, please tune out. We don't want to upset you. Uh, if you haven't been murdered, uh, feel free to keep listening. The only thing we really learn in uh, in episode three of the Tiger King documentary is that pretty much you can get away with murder. No body equals no murder. Unless you confess, you're good. I think it's weird. I think it's weird that we're looking at these true crime documentaries to try to figure out why people murder. I think we know why people murder. I think we need to start looking at the types of people that are being murdered and let's decide if there's even a crime being committed. If you're a dick, maybe you deserved it. People that get murdered a lot of times put themselves in a situation to be murdered. Don't cheat on your wife. Don't do crazy things. Don't have a girlfriend in Costa Rica, right? Like, look, okay, okay, look, let's back up. If you're a woman and you get murdered by a dude, we have to solve that crime. That's clear. But if you're a dude and you get murdered by another dude, like, let's go through the details a little bit. Like, what did you do? And they just go to the neighbor and they're like, look, can you think of anybody who would have wanted to murder Brian? If they say, like, more than one person, that's done. Do you know what I mean? Like, you might be an asshole. You can't have more than one person at a time wanting to murder you or you sh will die. I'm a good person. That's why I'm still alive. I've not put myself in a situation where anybody wants to murder me. I don't think that mo most of us think that we're going to be murdered. I think a lot of us think that it's possible that we might murder somebody. Somebody could cuts you off in traffic and you got a baseball bat in your car, next thing you know, you're going to chase somebody down for a while. And then if you're going to murder, I think you need to murder in a smart way. Number one, get rid of the body. Make sure there's no body. No body equals no murder. Make sure there's no weapon. We've all seen the mafia movies. Shoot somebody, get rid of the weapon immediately. And if you really want to get away with murder, don't murder anybody you know. I know that's hard. You just have to murder a stranger. Right? Murder in a big city. There's so many other suspects. In New York City, nobody's even checking on anybody. Like, I could die in my apartment and no one would know for like two months. I would start to rot through the floorboards before anybody would find out that I actually was dead. You murder somebody in like Wyoming where no people are, people are going to notice that this person didn't show up to work. Here's another tip. You don't want to murder anybody who uh, has value in society. Like, don't murder, like, a beautiful woman. Don't murder a child, right? That's why we got the Amber Alerts. We find those people right away. Just kill a random old person. Has any of us ever looked at the, the license plate on the silver alert and ever tried to go find these people? No. The worst way to murder somebody is, like, crime of passion. Uh, on a split instinct. If you plan a murder, most likely you're going to be fine. But pretty much if you murder somebody who nobody knows, who has low value, there's no body in a populated area, you have no connection to them and you planned it, I think you're good. Honestly, I think you're going to be fine. If you really want to murder somebody, um, there's ways to do it. Uh, if you're listening to this and you're offended uh, and you also watch the Tiger King documentary, I don't know what type of person you are.